Good evening and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Odie Apparatus, we are in Wizard Day 3. It's a Wednesday, the store is closed, we can't go shopping for all of our goods and services and yada yada. But uh, we should check the weather and see what we got going on for tomorrow here. See if there's any reason to check the weather here, it's going to be clear and sunny all day. I don't know what that does for us. The rain really helps us, but uh, Fortune Teller, this actually is more, more meaningful this time of year. Because the spirits are in good humor today, I think you'll have a little extra luck. That's exactly what we want to hear. Oh, let's make a sashimi for ourselves. We're ready to go. We need to talk to Pam still. Drop off that pale ale. We have a letter. Oh, man. Letter. Modi, I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's best neighbor award with a small cash prize. Keep it up, Mayor. Who signs their name Mayor? Mayor Lewis, maybe. Sure, just Lewis. Run on first name basis, buddy. You call me Modi, I call you Lewis. 500 bucks in clothes. Thanks, man. Neighbor of the Month Award. You hear that, Indy? You hear that? Mayor, Neighbor of the Month. The mayor loves us. Oh, we have to get our watering can. Is that, was that turned in yesterday? I forget. I've already forgotten. <sighs> Damn you, goldfish memory. I can't remember when ha things happened in relation to other things. Especially when they happened in the past. How am I supposed to remember that? All right, let's get our chickens all chickenized. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, chick. Oh, do, do one and a half! One and a half for two of them! One and a half? One and a half? <gasps> oh, we're on the way. Keeping the ladies happy. Oh, Georgia, you are the stubborn one of the bunch, I can tell. Well, she's just been here the least long. She hasn't, like, gotten the whole thing yet. You know, she's not, like, into, like, our, uh, our sense of humor and stuff yet. Come on, just get it. There we go. And... Feed him up. Okay, we still need to stop, stop by Robin and talk about, uh... Getting this thing all improved. Because there are upgrades I believe we can buy for it. It makes sense to me. Like, people in the comments mentioned incubators and that kind of thing. So we can actually hatch more chickens. Uh, that would make sense for everything about this. Um, totally. Of course. Let's take a look and see if anything's grown down here in way of our saps and such. And such and such. Uh, no. No, it's not. Um, this is a nice little cluster if we wanted to put some pine tar trees over here. This, are these all the same? It's hard to say when it's the winter, isn't it? If these were all the same, that'd be a good spot for all those. I mean, I have this thing growing over here, but these are already grown. The question is, are they all the same plant? Are they all the same tree? Let's see, let's take a look at the stumps here. This is oak, I believe. That's oak too. Let's see if we see any maple. No, there's just, it's hard to say what is what now with, with it being winter and all. Um, that does look like a nice little area, no matter what we have there, though. That looks like where we want to put it. I think what we'll do is, as these these uh, tappers get done, we'll move them over to these four trees here. This is a really nice spot for that, I think. And our pickaxe, get our pickaxe out. Get our geode. Um, this here is the apple tree. That's right, that's why that one looks weird. Because it is the apple tree, and it is fully grown. We've planted a few days late, and it takes 28 days to grow. Um... You know, we should really get an orchard for something like that started, though. Oh, yeah, that's a reason to get rid of these trees. We can have, like, a row of trees going down this way. And, uh, that would be cool. I really don't know what we're quite working on today. I do think because the, uh, the fortune is in our favor, that means it's a good day to go crack open some geodes, though. So we should totally do that. Uh, do we have geodes to do? Oh, we're also gonna do this. Yes, we're gonna do the turn-in for the final foraging quest line. Oh man, it's gonna be a really good day. Uh, some geodes to turn in. Any others? Oh, we gotta turn this in too. We haven't turned that in yet. Um, anything else? Oh, there's the watering can. So we didn't turn in a watering can yet. Okay. Well, it's 10,000, I think, to improve that. Or is it 5,000? I think it's 5,000 to improve that. Uh, that's not that bad. All right, well, we can give it to him. Um, and then anything else? I think we're good on every other front here. Let's drop off this, and we'll take these with us. Those geodes to crack open. Uh, we'll drop off the wood into here. I really gotta get this thing organized. And someone did mention in the comments, I'm not gonna do it right now on camera here, but someone mentioned in the comments that I should go in here and clean out everything that's not an ingredient. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense to me. I should clean out all the, there should only be ingredients in there so we can cook more easily. Um, for sure, for sure. Oh, we got our uh, mayo done already here too. I think the mayo uh, sells for quite a bit, if I remember correctly. What does mayo sell for? 150 per mayo. 
We need more earth crystals in order to get that. But you know what? We might get some by cracking open some geodes today. I don't think we'll get those. We're probably going to get better stuff than that. Uh, let's sell the mayo. Okay, cool. Let's go off the town here. First stop we're going to make. We're going to grab that first of all here, because why not? And, and this. Please. Now, we can, I believe we can make winter seeds if we play our cards right as far as this goes. Here, let's take a look here quick and see the crafting. There's winter seed pack someplace. And that'll actually let us farm in the winter then? Yes, wild seeds, winter root. We need one more winter root and we need we have, we have everything we need then. Um, and we have some winter root back at the place. We can actually make some seeds for the winter and uh, get some things planted, I believe. I think that's the only thing we can really plant is the foraging stuff here. But if we can sell it off, I mean, or just keep it. Cause look at the, look at the, uh, the energy on that, baby. Look at that. All right, so what do we want to do? Let's go talk to the, uh, let's go talk to the community center first and get this taken care of. And uh, this is the quest line that the reward is bridge repair. Now, I don't know which bridge that means. I have a couple of guesses as which bridge they mean, but uh, we'll definitely have to take a look at that and investigate this episode. So final steps, bam. Bundle complete. And reward. Oh, winter seeds. Fantastic. There's our 30 winter seeds. Fantastic. We have something to plant then. <gasps> oh, they're here again. The Luminos. Hello, gentlemen. The house was empty for years. The trees moved in, and so did we. Wow. Whoa. <gasps> the craft room is all ready to go. Look how beautiful this place looks. Holy cow, this is a place you want to actually hang out. We got a typewriter in here. All kinds of bundles of wood floating in the... Oh, it's not floating. It just kind of looks like it's sitting on top of this stack of books, doesn't it? Ah, oh, so good. So good. And the star gets awarded to the board. Beautiful. Fantastic. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh, man. I love this game. And I love that there's this this community center to improve. I don't know what we would do if uh, we didn't have that. I mean, really, it adds so much to the game. And I was actually talking with uh, a friend of mine, Penske, if you've seen uh, anything else on the channel. I do, a, I do an occasional appearance on his Star Trek podcast, and he is starting a new video game podcast. And he had me on the other day to talk about Stardew Valley, and we had discussed some of the things like this. So I will definitely put a link to it if he has it up already. Um, I don't know if it's up yet or not. It is, it is coming soon. I'll put a link to it eventually so you guys can hear my thoughts on Stardew Valley in a podcasty capacity, maybe. Uh, okay, so we want to upgrade our buildings here. So how do we upgrade this? I was wondering about this. Um, how do I shop? Hmm, I guess we don't do it through her. Oh, Tree of the Winter Star. Yeah, we want to buy that at some point. Not today. We are, we're too broke right now to buy that. Uh, upgrade house? Yeah, no, that's not what we want to do. Hmm, I wonder what they mean. Demolish buildings? No, no, no. Yeah, we want to build that at some point. Actually, this is a not without. This is this is possible. Actually, we get pretty close on that one. Um, we also are pretty close on the stable. The only thing holding us back is that hardwood, which will be kind of tough to come by. But maybe we get that stable done. Uh, do we have gifts for anybody? No, we don't really. I don't really have anything that they'll want. Okay, so let's head back down to Clint and talk to a man about some geodes. See, I don't know quite know where we go to upgrade on that one. Uh, maybe we do it from the building itself? Or, you know, maybe we do it through Marnie. Now I'm thinking about it. We'll have to talk to her quick. She might have the upgrades we need. So maybe if we finish up here, we'll hightail it over to Marnie's house and see if she's got any insight into that. Let's try to explore all the options here. All right, process the geodes first and then we'll upgrade the tools. That's not exciting at all. You do better than that, Clint. Come on, come on, get with it. That's something new, I think. Uh, all right, let's do the magma next. That is also not exciting, Clint. Come on, Clint. Put, put your back into it. Okay, that's kind of kind of nice. And last but not least. Well, shoot. Iridium ore. Okay, yeah, I mean, we can totally use that eventually. Um, we're going to need a lot of iridium, though, in order to actually make a, a pe one single piece, won't we? All right, Gunther, what do we got for you today? We got a couple of new things. Actually, there's one new thing here. We got this right here, though. And nothing worthwhile at all. Sorry, buddy. Well, maybe next time. 
All right, let's go over to Barney's house and see if she can tell us some insights into our animal situation. Oh, we got another uh, worm situation here. Well, geez, you know what? There's books to read over here too. I think we missed the books. We found a few books last time, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna run into an issue as far as running out of time, though. I think. Uh, okay, pause for now. Still no reward. Really? Come on. All right. Let's go read these books quick, and then we have to get over to her house real quick here. The Journey of the Prairie King, a smash hit video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? Did you know the developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real life character, a true cowboy hero from Prairie Island and the Gem Sea? Well, now I want to enter the Journey of the Prairie King. Now, is this like, is this like a, uh, was it Last Starfighter situation where if we defeat the game, we're entered, we become like the Prairie King? In real life, it's a testing simulator for the government, maybe? A study on diamond yields. After years of research in the mines, I believe I've learned something about diamond frequency. My research involved is only on the stones that are scattered about the mines, the ones that are broken with a pickaxe. Mineral yields from other sources require more research. Diamonds only seem to form at level mi mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency of diamonds formation seems to increase by about 0. 0.000016 per level. Quite a rare gem. Thanks, Jasper. Okay, so let's get over to Marnie's house. We might be wa we might have wasted too much time already. And she might not even have the answers we're looking for. Shouldn't you get the bundle up? I mean, she's wearing a short skirt for on the winter here. What is this we got here? Ghost crystal. Aura of coldness around this crystal. I guess we have turned that in before. Looks like we will make it on time, assuming she's there. She's notoriously never home when we needed her to be. She's always out and about, gallivanting around, doing who knows what. Um, I don't know. I don't want to take any risks with uh, Leah here and to give her something she doesn't want. We're just supplies. Let's, oh, there we go. Okay, this is the upgrade. So heater keeps our animals warm during the winter. Happy during the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we want that for sure. Anything else we can get? No, but we want to get this heater for sure. Yes, because we need to keep our animals happy during the winter. Ah, perfect. Cool. So let's go put that in the base. And you know what we didn't do? Is drop off our watering can, even though we brought the iron with us. Can we get over there in time? I don't think we can. I really don't think we can. Uh, we're going to get there at just as he's closing up shop, I think. There's no way we'll get there in time. Come on. Run. Get the lead out, Modi. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. We're, no, we're not going to make it. We are not going to make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not going to make it. He's gonna close up shop right now and in our face he slams the door. <sighs> we got there right on time. Right on time. Well, the, the water can't have to wait for another day then. Not that we need it for any reason. I guess we do need it to water these today though. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. We didn't realize we would need those. 30 to plant those, not that big a deal. Let's see if we got anything in our traps down here. <gasps> Look at this! Look at this! Not on the shell! Cool, man. We've been waiting on that because that is part of the uh, quest line for one of the other uh, community center quests. Fantastic. Oh, three of them. Oh my god. It is our lucky day. Oh, and some worms. Clay, okay. Fine, that's fine. That's just okay. That's all right. It's all right. And what do we have in here? Trash, trash, and a thingy. I didn't mean to grab the pot out, of course. Yeah, let's drop these in. Okay. Starting to run out of bait now. Willie, how you doing, man? Some fish come with the seasons, others only come out at night or in the rain. Uh, do we do we have a quest line related fish? Yes, catch a squid on ocean on winter nights. We have a lot of energy today. Might be a thing we want to do. Okay, so let's get let's get uh, let's get our pack emptied out a little bit, and we'll come back here in a couple hours, and um, yeah, we'll uh, see how much this nautilus shell sells for. Uh, seeing as how we're already up here, let's just stop at the community center, drop that off, and see what the last item is on the list there. Um, it's right over here, correct? Another, another worm, jeez. I think the worms would be a little easier to spot in the winter here is the issue. And draw all this clay, of course. Of course, of course, of course. 
It is on the bulletin board, I believe. And it is the field research bundle. So the last thing we need, actually, we already have. Where'd it go? Here it is. The last thing we need is a purple mushroom, which we actually have back at the house, I think. So that's another thing turned in. Oh my gosh, big questing day. And we haven't gone looking for the bridge yet. So I have two thoughts of where that could be. Um, let's head back to the house quick and drop the rest of the stuff off. And then we'll fish the night away here. Uh, we'll also make ourselves a replacement spinner. Because that one's probably going to break as we start fishing here. That's exactly what we don't want. So, let's see. Maybe this Nautilus shell business will uh, get us back to the, the 10,000 we had before. Oh, we gotta get this heater put in too so the, the chickens don't get uh, angry in the winter here. Alright, let's turn in the loot for today. Let's sell, let's keep the crystal fruit. Let's sell these off. Eh, let's, let's hang on to that. Somebody might like it. Uh, let's sell this off, sell this off. Trash we can get rid of. The driftwood we'll get rid of too. I know Leah does like it. But, um, yeah, that's fine. Nautilus shells? Absolutely. Get rid of more, we'll hang on to that. Dolomite? Yeah, I don't want to get that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, these are good for energy. 63 energy. And 20-something health? 25 health? That's not bad. More iridium? How much do we need? I think probably five, I imagine. And just a few bits and bobs of other things here. Uh, mayo is ready to go. Get the chickens all warm here. Hi, chickies. Let's throw this in the corner. Sydney's trying to sleep, I know, but she's in the way. There, put that next to the, not only if the huter next to the straws are probably not a bad a bad idea. I mean that's like a fire hazard for sure. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the chickens are safe. Um, we have our glowing ring on, the small glow ring. Uh, which is providing us all our light here. This is actually be a good day for turning in stuff because... Oh, we forgot to... Oh, you know what we can do is move these finally. Because we didn't put anything in them. This one's also done. Figure out a spot for these next time. Let's figure out a spot for those tomorrow here. Uh, let's drop them off in here. For now, so we don't forget. And that'll keep us reminded. I think we want to put them next to the trees maybe over here. Maybe put the wall back in. Um... Yeah, these these probably aren't going to get any bees in the in the winter here anyway, so we'll find a better spot for those also. Uh, let's see, throw those in here. All right, it is clearly night now. We should get down back down to the ocean. Uh, I wonder if we can do a shortcut by taking the... Eh, it's a small shortcut, if anything. But we can take the, the, the rail over the town here, like this. It's a, it's a small, small jump over there. Saves a few steps, though. And time is always of the essence. It's already 9 o'clock here. We gotta get efficient. Plus, it's our lucky day. We can't... Oh, you know what we didn't bring is a way to fix that spinner when it breaks. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get lucky. It is our lucky day, after all. First thing we want to do is take a look for any spots with the bubbling water. Because that was always huge for fishing. And I don't see any over here. So, let's go fish over here, then. Do we see any bubbling over here? Nope. Okay, let's fish next to the rock. I've heard good things with the rock. Nice. That's a good cast. There we go. That's pretty fast. Is a squid hanging out by the rock, you think? Is a squid easy to catch? Probably not, I would imagine. Herring, okay. It's a gold herring, too. Oh, there we go, there we go, this is it, this is it, this is it. Oh, that was it, that was it, that was our chance. That was our one chance at a squid. Here we go. We're doing better this time. It's probably tuna, actually. A halibut, nice. Have we caught that before? Our fishing tackle wore out. Well, we're on our own then. We didn't bring the materials I knew it was gonna break. We should've just brought the iron with us. It's not gonna catch that slowly. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Or halibut, maybe? Oh, come on. There we go. Albacore. Decent, decent, and... Oh, nice. Man, I guess it is our lucky day. I love fishing on the lucky days. Okay, we're gonna fish uh, until midnight, and then we'll head home. 
Oops. It's a slow builder, if anything, here. Hearing. Yep. Not important. Not impressive at all. I think we need to fish some of these else. This is this spot seems to be dried up a little bit. Now it's slowing down. Come on, fishies. There we go. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. This is it, this is the squid. I can feel it. I can feel it. We have we have that kinship, you know, that 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 oneness. The two squids. Passing the night. We know, we know, we know it. We got it, we got it. Yes! I knew it! 34 inch squid. Fantastic. And that is for Bring Willie a squid. Okay, cool. So we got something taken care of at least. Uh, let's head home. Man, successful day. Successful day. Everything got accomplished, and then tomorrow we'll go looking for the bridge as far as our activity goes. And uh, we won't put, let anything get in our way as far as that, as that objective goes, I think. Oh, we have to plant these though. Well, we'll do that quick and then we can do. Then we can go out about our business. Sounds like a good plan. Now, once we do this though, the, uh, the winter, um, we won't be able to turn the wind watering can in until we get this stuff harvested again. Oh boy. Bunny. Okay, so let's get up to bed here and then we'll sell off all this, this fish and this halibut and everything like that. I don't think the halibut's used for a quest line at all. Um, Elcor, hearing. It's a good squid too. It's getting late. I know it's getting late. Sorry, game. And let's sell off the herring. Sell off the helmet, sell off the elbacor. Keep the rest. Alright, let's get to sleep here. Tomorrow is another day. <gasps> there it is. Look at that. Oh, we couldn't have gone to it. Anyways, so this is the canyon that's over by the uh the the, the adventurers guild. That's where it is. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I guess we wouldn't have to find it. We know exactly where we're going. Fourth of winter. It's going to be a good day. I can already tell. All right, let's take a look and see what the weather forecast says. Today it was going to be a bright and sunny day. It's going to be snowy tomorrow. Fortune teller says the spirits are in good humor. A little more luck today. Awesome. And living off the land. Wondering how to get your hands on refined quartz? Just put a regular old quartz in the furnace and you'll need a lump of coal to fire- Man, we wish, wish we would have read that sooner. We, uh, we, we mistakenly thought we had to put trash in there. It was the only way to get it, but that is not true. Modi, how are things going? You'll, I hope, you must be really making a fortune on the farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Have a cake. Pink cake. 250 energy! Holy cow, That we gotta save that for the right day. Holy moly. Yeah, that's like an entire day's worth of energy replenished in an, in, in an instant. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just plant our winter crops here, I guess. No real system in mind. Uh, let's plant them here, and we can actually go like this. We need thirty. No, we actually have the sprinklers too. We could totally use those probably in the winter too, eh? Might as well try. Worst case scenario, they don't work. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. And like this. That should be 30, right? Uh, 8 times 6 is 36. Cool. Oh, we know what we should do is quality fertilizer, too. Uh, let's see, we have this, uh... This stuff here we'll hang on to. We'll just make some regular quality stuff, though. Um... Regular fertilizer will be fine. We need uh, 28 of it. And we also need to remember to make ourselves a better better fishing rod here. Or not a fishing rod, but a fishing lure. Uh, we need to talk to Willy, get rid of the squid. Okay, cool. Let's just get this planted here. Hopefully the sprinklers work in the winter. I don't know why they wouldn't. Alright, let's make sure we don't accidentally hit our, uh, crops here now. Nope, missed that one a little bit. 
Nope, not that way, this way. There we go, that's better. Slightly faster somehow? Nope, wrong way. Getting lots of clay at least. It's good, we need that. All right, now, fertilizer first. And then the, the good stuff. And we gotta make sure we don't hit the spots where we didn't put fertilizer. Oh, we actually made a mistake there too. All right, cool. Cool, good news. I uh, got that all done. And now we are ready for adventures. Oh, we need to figure out where we wanna put that stuff. Well, we'll figure out the beehives later. Um, I want the walls back out. What I want to do is put the walls up in here. Like so. Like so. And then we'll put in, uh, let's do this. Let's put in, um, reserve jars. Like so. Go. Cool. One. Two. Three like that. And then we'll put in up here, we'll do the beehives, and that doesn't matter right now, I guess we won't put those in, the, in right now. Uh, the kegs though, we'll put next to that, and we'll go, um, right there, and we'll have like a line like this. Uh, and the trees, we don't need to get to too often, so maybe we can just block this off right now. And we'll go the other way for those. Yeah, we'll just put like line kegs up here, we'll line the, the other things up here. I don't know if that's a good spot for it still. I'm still, still trying to think, figure it out. Um, I'm not quite happy with that placement just yet. Well, we'll find a spot. Okay, let's make ourselves a lure quick. And then uh, sell off that ruby. And then drop off our stuff we don't need, like you. And you to a certain extent, and you. And that we'll hang on to, and we'll go, we'll stop by, say hi to Pam quick. Oh, we gotta take care of a puppy too. Of course, hi puppy. Oh, and the chickens, we have to take care of the chickens. Man, can't forget about the chickens. We went to all the trouble to make them happy, we, got, we can't not forget about them. Okay, right, dogs watered. We need more mayo machines. We can't keep up with uh, the number of eggs we have. We always end up with more and more eggs. Alright, these chickens should be super happy now. Nope. Nice. Okay, those guys are all set high too. Uh, let's grab out the. What do I need to have on me? There we go. Can't ever tell. It's left click, right right click, different click. Don't know what. All right. Okay, finally, 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 we're ready to go on errands now. It's only 12 o'clock in the winter. I mean, did we water everything too? Oh, we gotta water everything still too, oh my god. All right, this won't take any time at all. It'll take some time, but not as much time as it should. Because we got the, the nice watering can. That's the whole point, we hung on to this watering can so we can do this. All right, let's do this. The watering pattern on this is going to be bad, but luckily, we, well, this is the only day we have to water it. For a sprinkler should work, I'm confident. Sprinkles will, sprinkles will work now. Cool. We're ready to go. Oh, we should probably... Oh, man. Okay, one task after another. This is task doing constantly here. Uh, we got to get the, the uh, stuff started up again here for our cooking of berries and hops and all that. Uh, we're still waiting on the keg to finish the, the wine. Not the bok choy, we don't want to make bok choy. Uh, we want to make... Hops. Now I should think we think we should take these hops chests and put these outside by the kegs, right? Now that would make a lot of sense, right? Do that, and then... Do that. Cool. Yeah, I don't know, this over here was not a bad spot for it, really. You can keep an eye on it easily, so maybe I'll move them back. Overthinking it, possibly. But we need more. We need more preserved jars. We need more kegs. We need more of everything. So that doesn't. Look, that spot doesn't look big enough for all that. Like everything we want to do. Oh shoot! I forgot to sell that off. 
Uh, let's give it to Mayor. See if he likes mayo. You like mayo, Mayor? Thanks, this is great. Oh, good. I like you like the mayo. Good. Uh, oh, did we miss somebody's birthday? We just missed Linus's birthday. I knew I was going to forget it. Shoot, oh, we're a terrible friend. Need a crocus for an experiment. Okay, we have that at our base. Uh, base? Our farm. Base. Uh, we have that at the farm. Um, let's see. Nobody's home here yet. We really got to get good at Prairie King here at some point. I think. Uh, where are we going? Pam's house, right? Which is the trailer here. Pam, you home? Nope, she's not here. Shoot. All right, well, we can't give her that then. Uh, let's go talk to Willie about the squid. And get that settled. Hopefully he's home. Well, I don't know where Pam might be. Oh, Pam's probably at the Jojo Mart, I'm thinking. If anywhere. Uh, looks like we got a couple of garbages and uh, that. Okay. Pork power. Increases the size of your fishing bar. Nice. Uh, no, we don't want to do that, though. We want to give, give you a present. Hello, sir. Mumble, mumble, eh? Thought I would tell you what it's... I, thought, I would tell you my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Okay. Sure. Uh, how about this? Think about this for a second. Hey, you did it! Not bad, not bad at all. I'm impressed. Which is a good time to break out the old fishing rod, isn't it? Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know how much they sell for. Can we see that yet? Switz sells for 80. 80. So, uh, yeah, not the most lucrative fish ever. Man, a lot of garbage. Guess we'll take the garbage, and we gotta get our bait back out. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get on it. And we finally get to go to up that bridge. Man, a long time coming. A lot of build up to this thing. A lot of things getting in the way. And we're going to get up there. We're going to have hardly, hardly any time left to explore it before it's nightfall. That's all right. We'll do what we have to do. We have a ton of energy left, so that won't get in the way at least. It looked like from the picture, there was a lot of rocks to mine on the other side of that bridge. For sure. Abigail. Another year is almost over. Indeed. Uh, we had something for this. Oh yeah, we had, we had, we had to turn in that... Uh, we gotta turn in the purple mushroom for that. That's right. All right, this is a long walk. I guess what we should have done is taken the tram, the train, the minecart. That's the one. The minecart over here, to the to this uh, area. Can we shake this tree? Can we shake this tree? Cool. All right, we're ready. We've made it. A lot of bones down there. Holy cow. You can go nuts in here. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff to mine for. What are you? Emerald? What are you? Iridium! Awesome! We can make iridium tools. And anything else that requires it. Oh, this will level your, your mining up fast, too. Oh, we got another minecart. It's working too, holy cow, awesome. Where does that go? Only one way to find out, right? There's only one way to find out. Well. Man, this is actually pretty good. This is, this is, this is nice because there's a diverse amount of ore here. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is sell off a lot of this ore actually and get some money because we need to get the the bus rebuilt and get the bus back in shape um, and it's gonna take a lot of cash when I get that done but I think if we push forward and don't worry too much about saving for the spring I think we can do it this winter still if we just concentrate on selling off ore now do we find out what this cell sells for off uh, let's see your minerals um Copper bars sell for 60 a piece. These sell for five a piece. So it's better off to smelt it, but this sells for 15. Gold sells for 25 a piece. Or that doesn't sell for much, actually. Or doesn't sell for, uh... I mean, that's not bad, actually. But I'm thinking that the gold bars sell for a ton more. So did we get coal here? We only got three. I can bring my cherry bombs next time. And oh, you know what we can do? We can make some. So 
that coal? Okay, here we go. Let's make a cherry bomb. We can make a regular bomb, too. Make ourselves a cherry bomb. Or two or three. And just blow this whole thing sky high. Nice. Well, it didn't get us any coal, though, unfortunately. Just stone. That's alright. I don't mind. Uh, and then... First of all, can we break these barrels? Or not the breaking type, okay. Where does this go? Oh, okay, so it's just another stop. Oh, okay, cool. Quarry. Oh, that's where we're going. Cool. Very nice, and we'll see if this replenishes the following day. It's going to be a great source of money and everything. Uh, let's go back to the bus stop. We have a quest line that's done here. Catch a squid. Yes. Delivery of bring a crocus to the wizard. 180 bucks, and he's going to be grateful. I guess we can boost our relationship with him a little more. Not that we have anything established yet, so we'll just uh, get him level up a little bit more. Uh, he is open late, though, so we can run down there really quick while we still have time. Uh, and bring our crocus with us. Cool. So, uh, let's, uh... Let's sell off some gold here and see what that sells for. We'll sell off an iron, we'll sell off a gold. We'll see how lucrative that can be. The rest of the ores we'll hang on to. We're gonna make our first iridium, actually. Hang on to those. Yeah, I guess we'll hang on to these just to refine. Um, this will sell off. This will keep. We'll hate get to keep. This will keep. This will sell. This will sell. This will sell. Cool. All right. Uh, I think we should eat our sashimi. Plunge the old health. Oh, we should hang on the clam. Oh, don't get rid of that. Okay, let's see how much that stuff sells for. Um, we need a crocus. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's go talk to the wizard here. Oh, we got more mayo for it, too. Shoot, okay. We'll sell that off here momentarily as well. And we'll see if we can find any more forage on the way, I think. Let's pick up anything we get to come across. We are going to be to the community center being finished in no time. Um, if we keep up the current... I think if this gold ore sells and gold bars sell for a lot, uh, we'll have a new business model for the winter here, I think. And just selling off ore. And we'll decide if it's worth it to, to smelt it up or if it's better to, uh, to just sell it as ore or not. All right. All right, Resmodius. We got what you need, man. We got what you need. How's it going? There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you want to discover them. Ah, the item I requested. Your work has been satisfactory. Here's your compensation. We still have to get to the bottom of the mine and we got to get Pam that beer. Okay, Pam's going to be at the bar right now if we want to head over there. It's only 8 o'clock. I mean, we have time. This episode's going to run a little bit longer than usual. It's fine, though. That's fine. Uh, we also need to start collecting hardwood if we want to improve our house. I think it requires... Oh, no, the, uh, the stable requires hardwood. That's right. But I believe if we get the stable, we get a horse included in that. But I really don't know how far we are as far as hardwood goes. Probably not even to 50 yet. We're not even halfway there. I think we can get... Uh, there's there's four or five stumps in there, and we get about two per thing, so maybe ten a day. It's gonna take a lot of going there each day if we want to really push towards getting that horse stable. But we do. We really want to get that, I'm sure. Because if we can ride a horse around, I'm sure that'll save us as far as walking goes. Oh, Pam is probably at the bar, like I said. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. She's probably here most nights. Hello, lady. Got what you need. It's awful cold. A visit to the saloon should warm you up, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I got something that you might want. Give me that, slurp. Ah, that's the stuff. It's real nice and hoppy. Notes of citrus and pine with a robust body to keep it grounded. That is a wonderful... Can I get you for, like, the label to write that for us? Because that's, that's a fantastic uh, little blurb. And take it from an expert. I mean, really. Thanks, kid. It means a lot to me. I knew you... I, I could count on you. What is she rewarding us with? 350 bucks. Cool. Lucrative. And then we just gotta get to the bottom of the mine. And that's not real if there's a reward attached to that. But, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it soon here. So, I think that accomplishes everything. I think we're, we're done for today. Tomorrow we'll go check out a look at the quarry again to see if everything is replenished. And, uh, mine anything else good there. Maybe bring those- maybe bring the cherry bombs with us? Oh, the other thing we can do 
is because we're getting more copper from that, we can definitely make more furnaces. And that will definitely help. I mean, coal's the one thing holding us back right now, I think. Uh, getting more furnaces will definitely help with the whole smelting issue here. Um, and just, uh, I don't know where we're going to put them. Again, I don't have a good spot. But these trees, I kind of, I kind of don't like where these trees are now. They're not growing very fast either. I wonder if there's a problem with them. Anyways, let's worry about that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Make sure you keep those likes and comments coming. I've loved, I've loved so much reading the comments section. You guys are great. Uh, it's, a, it's a treat every single day I see it. So keep it coming. Keep up the good work. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.